Life is like a rough sea full of storms, problems and unknowns. How can I stay calm and ride the wave positively? This question has puzzled us for a long time. Stoic philosophy is like a lighthouse pointing us to peace and strength, giving us the answers we need. The Stoics, who had a deep understanding of both human nature and the workings of the universe, taught us that the quality of our thoughts determines our happiness. The philosopher King Marcus Aurelius famously said, the quality of your thoughts determines the quality of your life. But what does it mean to maintain this attitude when bad things happen? How can we change our daily behavior and use hardship to strengthen our character and spirit? Stoicism is more than just a collection of ideas. It also gives us a real opportunity to improve our lives. It teaches us the power of perspective, the value of cultivating gratitude, and the importance of living in harmony with nature. It also helps you understand what you can and cannot control. Additionally, it encourages you to use your energy wisely. Seneca. Another important part of Stoic thinking is that life is like play. What matters is not how long it takes, but how well it is executed. By following this mindset, we can learn to enjoy the present moment, cultivate an inner garden of peace, and see life's challenges not as problems, but as opportunities to learn and grow. As you learn to remain calm and positive in life, take a cue from the Stoics and apply their timeless wisdom to the problems we face today. By maintaining a positive attitude, being grateful and doing what is good for our souls, we not only navigate life's storms with grace, but also show others the way and share our shared human experience. It can be a symphony of peace and joy. If you're ready to join the journey, please have your comments ready. Number one, build a positive attitude. Having a positive attitude is more than just hope. A deep examination of life's difficulties born from the wisdom of Stoic philosophy. Stoicism teaches us that even though we cannot change what happens to us, we have complete control over how we think and feel about it. Marcus Aurelius, a great example of Stoic thinking, said happiness in life depends on the quality of thought. This principle shows the importance of having a positive attitude because a positive attitude changes the way you see the world from one of contentment negativity and a sense of defeat in a world full of opportunity and growth. But how can you develop this attitude when life is so difficult? It starts with recognizing that every experience is different. Stoics practice the latter by approaching life's problems with interest and vigor, demonstrating that they believe every challenge has the potential to help them grow. Consider the story of James Stockdale, an American lieutenant general and aviator who was held as a prisoner of war for more than seven years during the Vietnam War. The lessons learned from his epic greatly influenced Stockdale's ability to survive in unbearable conditions and maintain his command. Another Stoic teacher said, it's not what happens to you that matters, but how you deal with it. Stockdale was able to maintain a positive attitude even when the circumstances were very bad, and this not only helped him, but he was able to inspire other prisoners to do the same. Having a positive attitude is not a negative act. It's about being aware of your thoughts and feelings, focusing on what you can change in your life, and finding meaning and value in your experiences no matter what. Stoicism encourages people to have a positive outlook on life. This is not only a way to get through life, but also a way to live life with a strong desire to bounce back, grow and see the good in everything. The world is full of problems and unknowns, but optimism can be the light that gets us through the darkest times. A positive attitude is more than just smiling. It means training your mind to see opportunities in problems and to be strong when things don't go well. Here is a short list of things you can do to build a positive attitude. Self-consciousness. First, know how you feel and be aware of your negative thinking habits. Awareness is the first thing that leads to change. Write down your feelings and thoughts throughout the day. Do they mostly say good things or bad things? Knowing your normal state will help you choose a better attitude towards gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful way to change the way you look at things every day. Take a moment and think about the small things you are grateful for. This exercise trains your mind to think about the good things in life instead of the bad. Feel grateful for simple things like a hot cup of coffee in the morning or the company of friends and family. Affirmations, which are good positive mantras, can help change the way your subconscious mind works. Every day you say something short and optimistic to yourself called an affirmation. They help you deal with and get rid of bad and self-destructive thoughts.
As examples of affirmations that can help you include I can overcome obstacles and face challenges with confidence and determination. Surround yourself with good things. Your environment has a huge impact on how you feel. Spend time with people who make you feel good and give you ideas. If you can, stay away from people who are bad to you and accounts that share inspirational posts on their social media feeds. Create a place where people feel comfortable, peaceful and quiet. Strengthens resilience. Having a good attitude doesn't mean ignoring the bad things that happen in life. It means being strong and hopeful when these things happen. Know that mistakes and setbacks are a normal part of life, but they do not define who you are or what you are capable of. Instead of focusing on the mistakes you've already made, think about what you can learn from them and how it can help you grow. Frame your mind to see problems as opportunities to grow as a person. By practicing these ideas daily, you will slowly develop a positive attitude that will help you navigate life's ups and downs with grace and hope. Remember that happiness is a process, not a destination. It's a way to learn more about yourself and grow as a person. Number two, feed yourself with positive words. Have you ever thought about how powerful words are? The Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, wherever people are, there is an opportunity for kindness. This simple idea shows how powerful words are and how they can nourish the soul. A world full of voices, messages and opinions. Choosing to surround yourself with positive words is a fundamental act of self-care and strength. Words, whether spoken or heard, are more than just sounds. They carry the energy that shapes our thoughts, emotions and ultimately reality. The language we read, hear and speak and the language we use to express what we think and feel all go together. What is our life? How often do we think about the quality of these words? Are they uplifting, inspiring and consistent with the good qualities we want to live by? Or do they reflect the fear, sadness and cynicism that pervades the world around us? An important part of Stoic mindfulness practice is being aware of our inner dialogue and the external words we allow into our space. Another great Stoic thinker, Marx his Aurelius, advised happiness in life depends on the quality of thought our words directly influence our thoughts, so it is important to choose carefully which words we read. By choosing to give ourselves positive words, we can develop a strong, positive, virtue-based attitude. Think about what would happen if you started each day with a positive affirmation or a passage from a book that inspires you. Imagine how your thinking would change if you responded to criticism from yourself and others with kind words. This is not to say that we should ignore life's difficulties and problems, but rather to show that we have the power to choose how we deal with them. The wisdom of Stoicism has helped many people change their thinking and in turn their lives. Daily affirmations and positive self-talk are two practical ways people can use this wisdom to transform their lives. These practices remind us that even when life is full of ups and downs, our spirits can stay strong thanks to positive words that resonate in our heads and hearts, so let's ask ourselves the answers to these questions that will show us the path to a happy, fulfilling and peaceful life. Please share your words of wisdom in the comments section. It's important to have a positive and confident attitude as negativity can easily control your thoughts and emotions. A great way to do this is to feed your mind with good words. Positive statements can change the way we see the world and guide us towards our goals. Do you say it out loud or in your head? Let's talk about how you can use the power of good words to improve your life. Be careful what you say about yourself. Pay attention to the conversations going on in your head. Are most of your thoughts good or negative? Awareness is the first thing that leads to change. When you talk to yourself, be careful about the words you use and replace negative thoughts with positive ones. Choose words that strengthen your words. They have power and can make us feel better or worse when problems or failures occur. Choose words that will boost your confidence and help you bounce back. Instead of I can't do this, say I'm capable and will overcome this obstacle. Just keep doing it like you would any other habit. It takes time and effort to keep giving yourself good words. Make mantras a part of your daily life by chanting them in the morning before you go to bed or when you feel stressed. Let's have fun thinking about it. Repetition strengthens neural pathways, making it easier to maintain a happy attitude. Visualize success. Use positive words and vivid images to create a strong image of success and happiness in your mind. Close your eyes and imagine yourself achieving your goal while saying positive words to yourself that will help you believe in your abilities. 
Visualization increases your motivation and sets you up for success. Spread the joy. Eating happy thoughts has more than just life-changing benefits. You can also cheer up the people around you, share positivity with your friends, family and colleagues to uplift their spirits and spread joy. Not only can you make your own life better, but you can also make your community a better place to live. Finally, giving yourself positive words is a simple but powerful habit that can have a huge impact on your thoughts, actions and overall health. Harness the power of words to create a life of joy, resilience and fulfillment by raising awareness, using powerful words, being consistent, visualizing success and sharing positivity. Can. Number three, take care of your overall health. Have you ever wondered how much your physical health affects your mental strength and spiritual fulfillment? Stoicism is an ancient philosophy. This timeless lesson teaches us that caring for our overall health is not only our responsibility, but also a reflection of our wisdom and virtue. The famous Stoic philosopher Big to said that it's not what happens to you that matters, but how you deal with it. This powerful idea goes far beyond simply accepting what is happening in the outside world. This includes taking steps to maintain good physical, mental and spiritual health. When under great stress, the most obvious part of our well-being, our physical health, often lingers on our minds. But the Stoics knew that the strength of the body supported the efforts of the mind and the aspirations of the spirit. For example, regular exercise is not just about staying healthy. It is also about training your mind to accept. Don't give in to laziness. How often do you train? Not as a chore, but to celebrate your physical abilities and test your mental strength. Mental health is equally important and requires close attention and care. Mindful eating and meditation are two practices that demonstrate not only mindfulness of the body, but also a deep understanding of how the mind influences our thoughts and actions. When was the last time you truly enjoyed every bite of your meal, or sat quietly and reflected on your thoughts without judgment? These simple actions can help you build mental and emotional strength. It helps you be aware of the now, two important factors. Mental health is less tangible but just as important. Stoic wisdom teaches that the core of our spirit lies in how we orient our lives toward the virtues of wisdom, courage, justice and temperance. By pursuing these virtues we can find true happiness and meaning. Have you ever wondered how you can incorporate these values into your daily activities and make your daily work an expression of your best self? A stoic approach to total health can help you achieve perfection. It is not about doing things, but rather about developing a strong mind. In order to live a fulfilling and healthy life, it is important to take care of your health. There's more to this than just physical health. This also includes mental, emotional and social health. Putting your health first will improve your quality of life, increase your productivity, and reduce your risk of developing various diseases. Here are five important things to consider to stay in good health. A balanced diet, a healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains provides the nutrients your body needs to function. Reducing processed foods, sugary snacks, and high-fat meals can help you stay healthy and prevent weight gain. It may also lower your risk of long-term diseases, such as diabetes and heart disease. Regular exercise and regular physical activity not only improve your heart health, but also make you feel better and have more energy. To become healthier, aim to get at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise most days. A combination of aerobic strength training and flexibility exercises. Getting enough sleep makes it a priority to get seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night to rest and heal your mind and body. Getting enough sleep is good for your immune system, brain and mental health. It also reduces the risk of mood disorders and long-term conditions such as obesity and high blood pressure. Cope with stress. Do things that make you feel good, such as mindfulness meditation, breathing exercises or a favorite sport or activity. Chronic stress can negatively impact both physical and mental health. Therefore, finding healthy ways to cope is important for your overall health. Regular health checks schedule a regular health check with your doctor to receive preventive treatments, immunizations and health exams. Early detection of health problems allows people to receive immediate help and care, improving outcomes and reducing the risk of complications. By following these tips every day you can take control and improve your health and live a fuller, healthier life. Remember that small changes can lead to big gains over time. Start these habits today to be better tomorrow.
Number four, cultivate gratitude. Stoic philosophy is based on a deep practice of gratitude. This means more than just being grateful for material things. Gratitude is understanding how everything is connected, deeply appreciating the fabric of existence and appreciating the beauty of life's ebbs and flows. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, encouraged us to reflect on how short our lives are and to live in the moment with a grateful heart. When you wake up in the morning, remember what a precious privilege it is to be alive, breathing, thinking, enjoying and loving, he wrote, echoing the Stoic's gratitude. It summarizes the essence. But how can we cultivate such gratitude, especially in the face of hardship and everyday problems? Have you ever thought about it? This act of reflection can change our standards from lack to abundance. Stoic gratitude is a powerful way to combat anger, envy and despair. By focusing on what we have instead of what we don't have, we open ourselves to the abundance that life has to offer. This does not mean that we must passively accept injustice and suffering. It means choosing to find joy and meaning in what we have and can control. For example, many people keep gratitude journals to consciously acknowledge their blessings. Gratitude helps us stay present and reminds us of how everything is connected and supports and improves our lives. Gratitude is a powerful way to deal with the problems of today's world and it makes those around us happier and more positive. When we learn to look at the world with gratitude, we learn from the Stoics that true happiness comes not from external accomplishments, but from appreciating the beauty of the present and the simple but profound gifts of existence. Accept the wisdom of so, how do you practice gratitude? Today, your insight may be a guide for someone else. Please share in the comments. Number five, set achievable goals. It is better to stumble with your feet than with your tongue. Someone said that Zeno, the father of Stoicism, took slow and deliberate steps in his life and spoke about the importance of speaking clearly. This wisdom flows directly into the Stoic advice of setting reasonable goals in the middle, an approach that values moderation and balance over the extremes of ambition and moderation in achieving goals. Stoicism teaches us the importance of balancing your goals with your abilities and the ever-changing events that make up your life. But why is this middle path important and how can we do it? Well, think about goals that are too big and beyond our reach or resources. These big dreams can be frustrating, lead to burnout and make you feel like a failure if the gap between your hopes and reality is too large. On the other hand, goals that are too small can limit our potential and leave us with a life full of comfortable and unrealized potential. So where does the balance lie? Marcus Aurelius will help you with this. Life is more like a fight than a dance. This image represents a stoic way of setting goals, a dynamic way of dealing with life's problems that requires speed, strength and above all balance. It's not about walking through life like a dancer, it's about navigating the ups and downs with grace and strength. The middle path requires us to set goals that are difficult but not impossible. Given the resources and circumstances we currently have, we need to be aware of our limitations and approach them gently as we move forward to expand the scope of our capabilities. Have you ever set a goal that was difficult but not stressful? Instead of feeling tired, you felt full of energy. That's what the midpoint is all about. Furthermore, the stoic middle path is not a fixed path. It is a responsive and adaptive method that changes as we grow and as circumstances change. This flexibility is important in a world where change is the only constant. In doing so, we can readjust our goals while still accepting the unpredictability of life. Sai Epictetus mentions rules that can be used both for setting goals and pursuing them. By following this stoic rule, we can live a life full of progress, balance and happiness without the stress of stagnation caused by unattainable goals or untapped potential. The middle way is not only a way of setting goals, but also a way of living in complete harmony with the rise and fall of nature. Number six explores new experiences on life's exciting path. Stoic philosophy believes that life is not just something to be endured, but to be lived consciously and to the fullest. A good example is starting your life's journey with an open mind and a desire to explore new things. Marcus Aurelius was a great example of a Stoic thinker. As the famous saying goes, the soul is lovable by the color of its thoughts. This idea shows the importance of accepting all of life's experiences and incorporating them into our inner being. Add wisdom, resilience and depth to your organization. 
But how can we become more open to new experiences? What is the evidence that this way of life is good? People who, driven by the stoic idea of seizing life's possibilities, decide to leave their comfort zone and travel to a foreign country with a culture completely different from their own. Let's think about it. Along the way, they face challenges that test their patience, adaptability and the ideas they already have about the world. However, if we view these challenges not as problems but as opportunities for growth and approach them with a stoic attitude, we can definitely move forward. But why should you stop traveling? Stoics are open to new situations, both in the intellectual and spiritual realms. Have you ever questioned your beliefs by reading a philosophical book that goes against your beliefs or by practicing a type of meditation outside of your tradition? As the Stoics believed, these forays into the unknown not only expand our horizons but also strengthen our character. Seneca, another famous Stoic, said hold on to your youthful enthusiasm the older you get, the better you become at using it. This advice is a timeless reminder of the importance of maintaining a zest for life and a desire to learn, no matter how old we are. Through new experiences we discover our hidden interests, develop skills we never knew we had, and form deep connections with others and the world around us. The journey of the Stoic philosophers is not linear, but a rich, multi-layered expedition that embraces the beauty of the unknown and uncertainty by actively seeking new experiences. We not only follow the advice of the Stoic thinkers, but we also participate in the writing of our own epic story, one marked by growth, curiosity, and an unquenchable thirst for life's limitless possibilities. Masu. Number seven, participate in activities that make you happy and positive. Stoic thinking is filled with colorful threads that show that finding happiness and positivity is not just waiting and does not depend on luck or external events. Rather, it is a planned journey and an active participation in life's many experiences through virtue and good deeds. Epictetus understood this deeply and said that people are not troubled by things, but by the way they think about things. But how do we live according to this knowledge? How can doing certain things to be happy and positive not only improve our own lives, but also help us connect more deeply with others? The answer lies at the heart of Stoic practices that nourish the soul, awaken the spirit, and connect us to the larger web of life. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, volunteering is a great example of the Stoic virtue of kindness because it means dedicating one's time and energy to a cause greater than oneself. Volunteering allows us to transcend the boundaries of our personal aspirations and concerns and touch the lives of others in meaningful ways. Engaging in the creative arts is also a unique opportunity to express and explore the stoic ideals of beauty, truth and goodness through painting, music, writing or other artistic endeavors, allowing us to connect with our hearts. Find ways to express your deepest thoughts and ideas. The feeling of overcoming emptiness and touching the lives of others. When we create, don't we discover a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world? Based on Stoic principles, these activities not only promote happiness and positivity, they serve as lighthouses that guide us toward a life filled with meaning, connection and fulfillment. By choosing to engage with the world in this way, we not only honor the teachings of the Stoic philosophers, but also help create a more compassionate understanding and vibrant world. Contribute. In this pursuit, let us remember Sainer's words that true happiness comes from living in the present without worrying about what will happen in the future. The key to a life filled with deep happiness and positivity lies in the decisions and actions we make every day. How do you interact with the world today? You've come to the end of an amazing journey collecting his seven lessons to help you stay calm and positive as you go through life's ups and downs. Timeless advice to help you stay calm and positive by developing a positive mindset. Surround yourself with words of encouragement. We take care of our health holistically, set realistic goals, be grateful, learn from our problems, and do what makes us happy. By doing these things, we can start on the path to a life filled with happiness and fulfillment. According to Marcus Aurelius, we need very few things to live a happy life. It's all within yourself. This quote summarizes the main idea of our journey. We must look within ourselves to acquire virtues that will help us cope with life's challenges and make life more meaningful. Follow these ideas and walk the stoic path to live a life filled with peace, happiness and kindness. If you were moved by today's important journey through store philosophy, please like the video and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future videos.
goodbye, see you in the next video.